So the difference between the product dot template and the product dot product is as follows. When you go into inventory and you go to products here, this takes you to the product dot template. Product template is right. A, think of it as like your templated product, and it's really your your product catalog, so to say, with like all of your your core products in there. So I could have a product like um, you know product X. And I can define everything I want about product X here, right? Get into the product category, right? For removal strategies, if I had accounting installed, I'd have all my, you know, costing methods and inventory valuation methods, etc. Now, when does product X, when I create it here, also shows up when I click product variance? This shows me the product dot product view, right? So it's possible. The reason why we have product templates and product dot, the product dot product and the product dot template is because when I make an update to, uh, for example, a the inventory valuation method associated with the product dot template, I'm going to usually want that to transcend to all the associated product dot products. In this case, it doesn't make sense, right? There's because there's one for one. There's one product dot template and one product dot product. But let's take a, a different example. Let's create a t-shirt. And let's say I have some variants. I have size is one attribute and my values could be small, medium, and large. And I also have color. And I have blue green and black and I click save and as you can expect I have nine variants right three times three so when I'm I don't want to have to go through all my variants to make a change right if I go to product dot template I have my template here for the t-shirts right and if I go to my product variants I have all the different t-shirts here as their individual products and I can see the t-shirt is still the product but a layer deeper it's actually the small blue t-shirt that I'm looking at here right so if I make a change on the product dot template to for example put an exclamation point or two of them here then I can see that change here synchronized to the product dot product that's what we're referring to. And in, there are some fields that it makes sense to synchronize uh, while there are others that don't, right? Like product category here of the t-shirt small blue is matched to the product category on the, you know, think of it as the parent or the template. If I change this to uh, all sell, um, sellable, and if I go here to my product variant and open it up, I can see those changes reflected. However, if I make an adjustment to the cost price here and say that it's, you know, 50,000, there's actually no cost field on the product template because what would this cost price cost price reflect? Which of the nine values uh, co which of the nine products should we, you know, have reflected as the cost here? There is there's is none. It doesn't make sense. So you would assign that there. Um, you know, routes for example, you could if you click edit, um, you're not going to be able to assign a route to the template uh, because each each particular product or product or product variant can have its own route, right? So you're going to want to be able to, and I don't have them set, but you know, you're going to obviously some of these you may manufacture, some of them you may buy from a vendor. For example, it's really hard to get the blue ink you want, so you need to outsource it. So it's going to have a different route, a different procurement method associated with it than, for example, say a you know green, a small green shirt. Um, so there's you know some fields are going to synchronize and some are not. And to to keep it simple, right, the product template makes it very easy for you to see, you know from a high level, okay, here are my products that I sell. If I want to make some, you know, major adjustments to this particular product or, you know, this this parent product and have it automatically transcend to impact the variance, you can do that. But if I also want to go a level deeper into the product app product, and if I want to make specific configuration changes to, you know, unique variants, um, I can do that as well. So that's, I think that's what what uh, Antoine's getting to, or what that's what this document is is referencing when they say that certain fields can be synchronized. Hope this helps.